here's the remnant piece that fortunately when my auntie moved into this her house many years ago 12 years 14 years ago they had a piece of linoleum the installer saved for them so this is the piece so see here's the the grout line and there's an indentation right there so I can't even use this first tile but I can concentrate on the next three tiles and I'm gonna have to cut this off I'm just gonna use my straight edge and I'm gonna start cutting and I'm gonna hold it about in the very same spot as I did before and I'm just gonna use my straight edge I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna use tape measure just yet I'm just gonna use this I'm gonna double score kind of like I did before I want to Maybe get you out of the way so you can see on my shoulder or something. Now I, I could cut off this whole edge all the way down, but I don't know what the next person's going to do. I don't know if the next rip you're going to need something, but uh, I'm going to start at least from here. I'm going to get it over as wide as I can beyond the grout line. Yeah, my blade's gonna get dull because I'm right on the concrete, but that's all right. And I can I can change the blade on my next couple cuts. Let's say I want. I think I'm just gonna. Well, I guess I can just stop right here, just beyond that. Shall I just keep the camera rolling? Let's just see how I do here, shall we? I'm going to cut to my outside. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Instead of this way on the patch, I could put it there and cut that, you know, back the other way. But I was doing it this other way, so. I'm going to hold it right to the outside edge of that grout line. And that's where I did the other, right? Could, but I'm just going to cut out the tile pieces that I need and I have to remember that first tile is is going to be here and then the other two tiles I've got that cutout thing right there so I have to be careful with that because I don't want to cut the line too long here okay? so I'm just going to 
I'm just going to keep whacking away. Whackity whack. And I can extend it that way just ever so slightly. I want or cut it about where I thought I cut that other patch and then just plop it down there and whatever it is it is and if it's slightly long I can retrim it I'd rather have it slightly long than slightly short but if I get it slightly short that's okay because I have my caulking that I can put in there Oh, you know what? I might have to do another. I might have to do another one because this is the single one. This is the single tile, right? And it's the whole grout. The next two pieces are the entire grout again. So I'm not going to be able to use this tile here. I'm going to have to cut down further, Dabity Natic. That's all right. I'll figure it out. See, I couldn't have gone from, the, from out, inside to outside because some of those tears were right on that line, weren't they? So, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to cut another one. I'll just keep you here so you can see this last little bit. And I'm not doing anything special in my, don't have to be professional to do this. We're just doing a patch, you know. An average Joe patch. I'm scoring through the felt right there. And I'm trying to be careful I don't leave it on a concrete floor and I not I see that patch I've got all all the that grout line done and I'm I'm kind of curious if that's gonna fit I think it's going to shall we just I keep the camera rolling and see how we did let's see here let's just for kicks see it's gonna fit. Let's just see. No monkey business. Remember here. That's gonna go. I can put it right here. And look at that. It's too small. I'm gonna have to cut it. I'm gonna have to cut a piece bigger. That's too small. I'm going to have to go over a little bit more. Boy. Okay. I don't think that's going to fit over here either. Nope. Well, I'm glad I'm checking it out. I can save that in case they need another patch and cut on the inside of the line or something. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to make it just a hair wider. Looks like what I may have to do. Is actually take some measurements of that. Dabity nabbit. Dabity nabbit. So before I cut these, I guess I'm going to have to do some strategic thinking where I'm cutting these pieces, aren't I? I'm going to have to make them just a hair wider, and I'm, I'm glad I'm going to. Glad I only went to the first one. I'm going to have to make the other one a little bit wider. And try it again. Wow. Glad I've got enough material here. Okay, see? Did I do that on purpose? 
Or is that my loss, your gain? I got this piece fitting in really nice. And here's where that, that damaged piece was. So I marked on this. And then I actually used my, my whisk cutters and I cut that out. And now I can just score along that, use that as my straight edge tile right there. Just going around that. I could have double cut it, but I did it this way. Easier for me. Try that one template, that one piece first before I cut them all. I made the assumption they were all going to fit, and then find out they're all going to be not wide enough. Okay, looking at that. And that looks to be pretty good. Still slightly off, not a whole lot. Why? If I don't get it perfect. As long as I get it to lay down flat, then I can put a little caulking over it. Be done with it. Okay, come on. What's happening here? Line this all up. That looks good. is a patch is a patch like I said I do a once over on sweeping it Again, now I can get ready to glue it. But there's one more thing I want to do before I start gluing. Remember that little cut there? It's puckered up, so I'm going to cut it back just a little bit and try to get that high ridge out of there. And then I can just put some some caulking over it, I guess. Cut it back some more. I'll just fill that up with caulking. I'll probably have to put you know, one layer, wipe it off, and then put another layer on there after that. Because caulking has a tendency to seep down in there. 
Okay. And that'll be as good as that's gonna get.